Hey, everybody, how you doing? So I kind of wanted to explain this heat pump idea that I have because um, I think some people are misunderstanding what's going on. Um, Peltier circuits obviously have a cold side and a hot side. You apply a voltage, you're going to get cold on one side, you're going to get hot on the other. But you want to pump away the heat unless it's being pumped away. So it's kind of like the same idea for, for water coolers. It's the same thing. You got a hot side and a cold side. And it's all supplied by a 12 volt Peltier, Peltier circuit. So if we take six um, of these Peltier circuits and we put them on these platforms, what's well, cold side down, of course. And then we take another set of heat sinks, which is just a standard aluminum Peltier heat sink size, and you, you put that over the top of the hot side, you have to understand that the fan sits over that. So what's going to happen is it's going to cool off that hot side with airflow. So that allows this bottom plate here to super chill down to refrigerated temperatures, which is the interface between the front of the Outrunner's motor base plate and the PETG motor mount that it's bolted to. And this is to ensure that this remains at room. So basically it can pull away around 72 watts um, of heat energy which puts this at a baseline with no heat load of about negative 31 so it super cools it and with the heat load from the motor based on 100 amps at 75 volts we end up getting a roughly 40 to 50 degree temperature for the engine itself for the motor itself so it's going to run below ambient temperatures which is what I want because you lose energy in heat, you lose energy in resistance, so on and so forth. So the cooler you keep the motor, the more efficiently it's going to run. And that's what I'm going for. Not to mention, I don't want to burn up a motor mid-flight because then if you lose a fan, whole thing drops, right? So that's the goal. That's the goal behind the Peltier circuit system. It'll all be wired together go in through with the motor's ESC wires and be powered by an individual pack. It doesn't have to be a big one, a small 1850 at, you know, 14.8 volts with a step-down modulator so that I can actually uh, take it from 14.8 to 12, depending on the demand of the Peltiers as a whole. They draw three to six amps a piece, so that's totally fine. And that is the Peltier cooling system.